All right, the third type of rock, and I think the most complicated, is the metamorphic, metamorphic rock. And the metamorphic rock comes from the word metamorphosis, metamorphosis with an O. And metamorphosis means to change, change shape or form. Okay, and you know the common example of what metamorphosis is is the example of the little caterpillar. Here's my caterpillar changing into the beautiful butterfly. All right, and that's kind of the typical example when you talk about metamorphism. In our example of metamorphic rock, <clears throat> a metamorphic rock can. Um, start as an igneous rock, can start as a sedimentary rock, can even start as another metamorphic rock and change into a different metamorphic rock. And the way this happens is through a process of extreme amounts of heat and pressure. And where does this heat and pressure come from? Well, here's one example. If we go to our handy dandy picture of a volcano, um, we have our magma chamber coming up here, the magma, and then the rock, any rock that's near that magma chamber on the sides here, this area, is going to be subject to an extreme amount of heat. All right, it's not inside the magma itself, it's not melting. Um, but it is subject to a great amount of heat, and it can change into a metamorphic rock. This type of change is called contact, contact, sloppy, contact, metamorphism, contact metamorphism, uh, because it's, you know, coming close contact with the heat of the magma, all right? The Next type um, comes from uh, movement of tectonic plates. So if you remember from your study of Pangaea and tectonic plates, we can have one plate um, going in one direction, and we can have another plate going in the opposite direction. And when they meet, sometimes one will subduct and sink down. Okay. So you have something like this. And so we have two plates crashing into each other. This often happens in areas where mountains form and volcanoes can form. Okay? And sometimes there's it's a shoreline, right? So here's an ocean, here's an oceanic plate, here's a continental plate, and we have these two plates crashing into each other. And that causes an extreme amount of pressure. So anytime you have an area where two plates collide, uh, shorelines and near large mountains, we have an extreme amount of pressure creating um, uh, different types of metamorphic rock. This type of creation is called regional. Regional meta metamorphism. I'm getting tired writing this word. So a regional metamorphism. And again, um, extreme amounts of heat and extreme amounts of pressure. Um, I'm going to keep this one as a short video uh, because my next one is going to give you some examples of what these metamorphic rocks look like. Um, so I'll see you on part two.